Representative Cheney said, I would not support Trump if he is 2024 GOP nominee. We can't embrace insurrection. You know what, I can switch gears, Congresswoman. Um, you know, you've always spoken your mind, and then maybe that wins you fans, it can win you critics as well, even in your state, uh, when you took on Donald Trump. Uh, but one of the things I found interesting is you just raised a, a record one and a half million dollars plus uh, back home, uh, shattered all existing records. And that despite heat you were getting from party honchos back home. Do you and are you surprised by that? No, look, I think, Neil, that um, you've got uh, Republicans uh, who really want to have our party be a party that's based on ideas, that's based on substance. They want our party to be a party that, that gives people hope, uh, that lays out an agenda that looks to the future, uh, that contrasts with what the Democrats are doing in terms of expanding spending, expanding the size of the federal government, raising taxes, um, you know, appropriating money at levels we've never seen before that could have hugely negative negative economic consequences for the country. People are hungry for a Republican Party that fights against that and that presents the American people and American voters with a message of hope and opportunity. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, honored to, to be able to fight that fight. I'm, I'm very grateful for the support that I've received across the board, including this quarter, and uh, look forward to continuing to fight that fight uh, all the way through 2022 and, and beyond. Well, you're not, uh, you know, you're not being affected by being disinvited to a number of big Republican powwows, including the president's a couple of weeks back in in Florida. You had criticized the the language that you said it, that provoked violence on January 6th. That he was utilizing that again. He's ripped a lot of prominent Republicans, Mitch McConnell included. Uh, there was an indirect reference to you. Um, how, how do you how do you reconcile that? Balance that if you're it, 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 you're, you're doing the kind of things that are helping you at home and, and getting a message across, but not invited to any of these big national Republican functions. Well, look, Neil, I mean, I, I've been very clear about my views of what happened on January 6th, about my views of the president's culpability. Uh, I obviously voted to impeach him. Uh, I think that it was uh, was the gravest violation of an oath of office by any president in American history. Uh, and and I, uh, I'm, I'm going to continue to make sure people understand that. I think for us as a party, we've got to be the party of hope and aspiration. Uh, and we, we cannot embrace uh, insurrection. We can't uh, minimize what happened on January 6th. And I think that... You know, you know, all of us, regardless of, of partisanship, have an obligation and a duty to the Constitution, uh, a duty to the peaceful transition of power. And I think that, you know, when you look at the challenges we face today uh, and you look at the the real turn towards socialism that you see coming from the Democrats, when you see, you know, this decision on Afghanistan, when you see the executive orders President Biden has signed ending all oil and gas uh, leases on public lands, uh, when you see the massive spending for the Green New Deal, uh, when you see the extent to which, you know, they really don't want us to teach kids uh, American history, but they don't want us to teach our kids to be proud of this country. Those are all battles that we've got to fight, battles we have to be in, that, that I'm honored to be in, and that I'm going to continue to fight, and I know ultimately that we will win. If Donald Trump were the 2024 nominee, would you support him? I would not. Okay. Liz Cheney, very good catching up with you. Thank you very much. For you too, Neil.